So we finally have more information about Star Wars Outlaws, including a release date, the different versions that will be available, and why the whole game may not be on the physical disc. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So a new story trailer dropped for Star Wars Outlaws, and before this actually came out, we had a leak of the release date that was in the description. I believe that was on the Japanese Ubisoft YouTube channel but then that quickly got taken down. But we'll just start with the trailer here and what we found out. So basically this is a time when the Empire is in control and you can see a scene where Han is frozen in carbonite. So you know this is between episode five, Empire Strikes Back and episode six, Return of the Jedi. You also see some familiar sights like Jabba as well as the Sarlacc pit. And the game will come to Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, and PC on August 30th. And they revealed three different SKUs here. You have the Standard Edition, which will be $70, and that'll include just the base game. And then the next level up is the Gold Edition, which is $110, which of course has the base game, and a Season Pass that includes two DLCs, the Jabba the Hutt Gambit exclusive mission at launch, which makes me think it'll probably be available to everyone else later, and the Kessel Runner character cosmetic pack. And in addition to that, you'll also get up to three days of early access. And then we have the Ultimate Edition, which will be priced at $130, which includes basically everything that the Gold Edition had, but you'll also get the Sabak I think I'm pronouncing that right, Shark Bundle, and that includes cosmetics for Kay and her blaster, and Nyx, that's the little creature that runs around with her, Kay's speeder, and the Trailblazer spaceship. You also get a Rogue Infiltrator Bundle, which includes cosmetics for Kay and Nyx, as well as Kay's speeder and the, quote, Trailblazer. And then finally, you'll get a digital art book, which has a selection of the game's concept art and visuals, including unique cinematic storyboards. And all of that's exciting information, but something that wasn't revealed here in this trailer that was seen over on the box art where you can order it from Best Buy, you can see in the bottom left corner here, it says internet required to install the game. So it pretty much sounds like the whole game won't be on the disc, and I have to wonder if actually any of the game will be on the disc. Now I don't know if that may be because they're anticipating the file size for the game to be so large it would have to come on two discs, sort of like how Final Fantasy VII Rebirth did. And I guess Ubisoft wants to save those several pennies on that second disc. No, it doesn't say anything about requiring the internet in order to play the game, just to install it. So if you do pick this up physically, I guess really the only advantage you have is that you could resell the disc to someone else and they would then be able to install and play. However, when it comes to, say, game preservation, there's not going to be a physical copy that you could own that has everything you need to be able to play the game. But let me know your thoughts about all of this. Are you looking forward to this game when it comes out on August 30th? And with the entire game not being on the disc, does that make you think twice about picking it up physically and maybe you'll just grab it digitally instead? Or do you still kind of like to have that resell value of at least you could sell the disc to someone else as long as the servers are still available to install the game from? And for that matter, with so many games requiring a day one patch just to make the game playable, is it even worth trying to have the game physically? Drop your comment below and let me know your thoughts. And if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. It really does help the channel out quite a bit. I want to thank you for watching and be good.